welcome back to the Taoist Arts Organization International Podcast. We call it DAWI for short. This is an entry in our DAWI Expert Series, and today I'm pleased to introduce our first expert in the art of Baji Chuen. Stephen Ip of Baji Chuen Canada is an eighth generation practitioner of Luo Tuan Baji Chuen. He's also recognized as an international master seventh dan by the Canadian National Wushu, Wushu Association and is a level one judge in Sanda. In addition, Stephen is also an ordained priest in the traditions of Shugendo and Mikio Buddhism and is the North American representative and head instructor of the lineage and Chinese society of this religion. Stephen, thank you for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me. So you, um, you're a Baji Chuan expert. Baji Chuan is, I would say, the main focus of your martial arts practice, but you've studied many other styles. Could you talk about how you got started in martial arts originally? Sure. Yeah, actually, I started my martial arts when I was 10, 11 years old. And by that time, actually, I didn't really start with the Chinese Kung Fu. I start my judo. I do some judo and then make me like uh, go go into a martial art and then I do some karate. But the first in in very short time, I go into my my first master, first Chinese kung fu master is a, a Northern Shaolin Eagle Club, Shaolin Eagle Club. But in this system, basically, it's a lot of hard kung fu reactive practice. So that's why basically this system is like kind of like disappear because they're in modern world. Nobody will like a breaking tree and a kicking and breaking their arms and things all the time. And because as you know, there's a, now nowadays societies, a lot of people cannot handle those like a painful, painful, painful time, a painful, painful work. So, and then uh, when I was 18 years old, I moved to Canada. And when the beginning, I was looking for a body train also. And, but the, I, I can't find it. I can't find it by that time. And then when I was 20, 21 years old, I, I went to Cornwall. I went to Cornwall to study. But unfortunately, I'm a best student. I'm a best student in school. And I always skip the class. And I, I went around the pond. It, it is a nice pond there. And I always go there to relax and practice my Kung Fu and then see one of the old men, by that time, uh, he was around 73 years old. I think he was say, 73 years old. He's doing some, some Kung Fu is really, really strong and things. I see it, it uh, I was realized something special. This guy is, uh, this is something I want. And actually he was practicing in Baji Chuan. He was practicing Baji Chuan by that time. And I think I was uh, 21 years old. I think I was 21 years old by that time. And then I go talk to him and I start talking to him. But but by that time, my Mandarin, because my Mandarin was, uh, I, because I born in Hong Kong. So that's why I, my mother tongue is a Cantonese. Yeah. So that's why my Mandarin is not that good. And then he is a Northern Chinese, a, a, a Chinese, a Northern Chinese. So that's why he speak Mandarin. So finally, we slowly, slowly start to start to talk. And then I asked him if he would like to teach me. And by then, and he started to teach me and I started to really practicing a body trend. But the, before I really start the, 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 the official, the authentic body trend, I learned some body trend before that uh, from my, from my Shaolin, uh, Shaolin master. But uh, this is like a, some part of a, like a small form, small form of Baji is that mix in the, the Shaolin also. And also I've met uh, some, some other group before that, uh, uh, that's related with the Taiwanese, related with Taiwanese. I learned a little bit, but that that, that never been official that until the time that I met my first master. But I'm, uh, I, I was with that master for around uh, four years, unfortunately, and then he 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 he, he left. And then uh, he, uh, finally I realized that he passed away. Wow. And after after every certain time, then I, I find his Kung Fu brother, Actually, his young kung fu brother, which is his master son in China, in China, the Qin Wang Dao, Hebei Qin Wang Dao, Qin Wang Dao, and finally, I'm I'm an official say, a disciple of his. And in between time, that uh, because it has a gap for me that from from uh, the first master and then I, I I find my 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 second master, I have been practicing Xin Yi Liu He Xuan, Xin Yi Liu He Xuan. That uh, my my master is a Yu De Lun, Yu De Lun. Yu De Lun is a son of a Yu Hua Long. Yu Hua Long, uh, I think Shanghai Yu Hua Long is uh, he's pretty famous, but uh, I'm not a good student. And I will I have been following him uh, intensively for three years, and also I practice a uh, Yang Tai Chi as well. Yang Tai Chi is a, a my my master is a 
when I met my master, he was 80 years old already. And then uh, he is a student of the Dong Yingjie, Dong Yingjie, Dong Yingjie Tai Chi, Tai Chi. So that's why I learned the uh, Yang Tai Chi form. But the, the Yang Tai Chi, I didn't really complete. I just uh, finished the, the, the long form. And then also the fast uh, fast form that it created by uh, uh, Dong Yingjie and also a brush form. And uh, the, the rest I didn't really complete. And uh, even the push hand, I, I'm not really good at that though. But I learned a little push hand basically from the, the Baji system. This is actually the most of the thing that I I learned, but I for, for sure, you know, uh, as a as a martial artist, uh, I we 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 contact with some Xinyi practitioner and a Bangladesh practitioner and Chen Tai Chi practitioner, and I learn a little bit uh, part by part. And especially like uh, I I've been uh, teaching with a uh, 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 Master Yang Hai in Montreal in the same school too. So that's why I, uh, we we have been uh, exchanging something. And no no uh, no not not really exchanging. Normally I ask him some questions because he's older than me and and he's bad, much better than me though. That's why. <laughs> yeah. So you, you mentioned that you before you found your first teacher that you were already looking for a Baji Twin teacher. Um, what what is it about Baji Twin that attracted you to the style? Well, uh, actually, from I think it's in at the nineteen ninety 1990 or nineteen ninety five or something like that in Japan. He has a comic book. It's called a train a trainer in a, a, in 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 Japanese. It's called Kenjin Kenjin. Is it talk about a Baji Chuan? And then it, in that comic book, it's talk about Baji Chuan and Xin Yu Her Chuan. And after I see that, I realized, oh, this is super cool. And then I, by that time, I was practicing my, my Xiaoli Eagle call. And I asked my master, hey, do we have a Baji Chuan? Do you know what's a Baji Chuan? So that's why he started to teach me some, a little bit like a, like a, a Xiao Jia, the first form or a Baji Chuan. But that's for sure, that's not really authentic. really authentic but they done until now but the oh sorry you I lost uh... you for a second that's okay sorry you're okay. saying that um Zhao Baji was not really authentic but... yeah uh, we, we call Baji Xiao Jia uh, Baji Xiao Jia it's not it's not really authentic but the, uh, I realized that the power the the the, the power exposed uh, from a Baji Chuan is really attractive to me. And by the time I was young, I was like a 15, 16 years old. I love that kind of uh, power and structure. So that's why it uh, made me get too, uh, too deep into the, the Baji Chuan. So that's why. And for sure, and the Xin Yi Lu Chuan is really, really strong. And Xin Yi Chuan is very, very strong too. So that's why I, I would like to learn a little. I, I learned a little uh, Xin Yi Chuan, but I put more effort uh, in the, in the uh, Xin Yi Lu Her. Because the, the the power structure and the power system is very similar as a as a body trend, but the, finally I, I still concentrate on the body trend. And also, uh, because of my 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 master, he's a now is eighty two years old. His dream is like a, to promote the the Lotan uh, Lot, Lot, Lot in the world like a, officially. So that's why I think that I, I'm pretty sure that I'm the only person that in the world except in China that only teaching body trend. Because I know a lot of the teachers, they're teaching body chuan, but they, they, they mostly practice a, a long face and a praying mantis and also chen tai chi, especially feng ji chuan tai chi and etc. etc. Especially, especially they mostly using a tai chi to promote and mix a body in there to try to uh, try to promote body. But uh, for for my for my aim, basically, just only body from the basic to the end. This body is more pure. Yeah, that, that's that's great. That's very admirable. I, I, I have noticed that Baji Twin is becoming more popular. And I think part of the reason why is because it is featured in some of these Japanese uh, manga and, and films and things like that. It's been very popular in Japan now. Um, but for, for those of our viewers and listeners that might not know that much about Baji Twin, could you explain a little bit about the, the background and history of the style? Yeah, uh, Baji Chuan is uh, until now is around a uh, three hundred years old, and then uh, the lineage is almost uh, go up to a uh, twelve or thirteen generation already, and I'm the eighth. And then actually, uh, it was a a master. Our our founder is called Wu Zhong. Wu Zhong basically is from a uh, Shandong uh, Qingyuan, Shandong Qingyuan. And then he, when he was young, he say uh, he he loved martial art. And then he he, he invite a lot of master to learn his kung fu. And the first master he learned it 
he, he learned the Baji Quan. And the second master, he learned that he learned his broad sword. And third master, he learned it, he learned it is a Da Chang, Da Chang, it is a, the ninth, a 10 feet a, a big spear. And then so finally he makes everything together. And then he also learned some uh, long feet and things. He makes everything together and to create a modern uh, the, the nowadays body trend but now a uh, body trend for sure is it is, is a lot of changing already but i will tell you tell you a story too and then after this and he have been invited from the uh, changjo mantran people they they, they also muslim because a uh, uh, wujong is a chinese muslim and then the mantran uh, muslim invite him to go there to to teach because uh, the 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 distance from the uh, Shandong, uh, Shandong Qingyun to uh, Changzhou Mangchuan is basically is around for driving. Uh, for for now, they driving around a uh, one hour and a half. So this been a, 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 a long time ago, probably one day walking or with the horse or something like that. So it's really convenient. And <clears throat> after he been invited, he basically uh, uh, located there for for until he almost passed away. And then he start to spread the, the baji and teach the baji. And he stay, start to, to mainly, the main three students is this, like one of his, his daughter, uh, one of uh, the, the students over there, uh, two of the students over there. And until this is a uh, first generation, so we call it Wu Zhong is first generation. And then uh, his daughter and then and the two students is the second generation. Until, until this two generation, and then it spread to the third generation. Uh, when third generation, we basically spread to the two system. The one system is called soft frame. One system is called a uh, hard frame. The soft frame is uh, keep uh, in the in the mountain, and the hard frame is to, uh, go to the the low turn. Low turn system is basically is more Han Han Chinese Han Chinese system. And then uh, for for me basically mainly I practice a uh, Han Chinese system, the the Mang, uh, the the low turn system, and. And then from uh, from uh, from third until the, until now is is it's been a lot of changing too. And then the, the Han Chinese is really smart. They're smart, and they they use the, the original body and take off a lot of it. Not really useful movement, and then some like a circulation movement, and then to make it until more pure, uh, until more direct and suitable for the army use. And for the mantra nowadays, we call it, we see it as like a wool, a wool mantra, or even from my Facebook, uh, my Facebook or YouTube, and I I perform it a Chuan Chuan style mantra and things. They looks nicer. They looks nicer, but there is a lot of uh, like a, a, a circulation movement. And uh, we call it like a not really direct movement. And then they keep it like a long fist style. And then the, the for for a lot of style, we we talk about more structure. We talk about more structure. So that's why we do a lot of zhang zhang. Zhang zhang basically, it, it, we use a, a xiao jia and a ba ji quan, the, 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 uh, the xiao jia is a small frame, and da jia, and then we, we stand all of the move to make sure our structure to harmonize with my body and then to explode the power. This is the, and, and the ba ji quan is mainly talk about the, uh, the, the six things, the six kind of open. Uh, for ba ji quan, we basically, yes, no blocking. We basically only attack, only attack. So that's why we don't do a self-defense. We only do a self-offense. I always tell my students that self-offense is a martial art that they, what you need. And then we always go direct, go straight forward, uh, go, go straight line, basically very similar as a, a Xin Yi Quan. So that's why He, he Bei Xin Yi, and he has a stamping, and he has a straight forward, and it, it, they always have it. A, a, a obvious a obvious a power and a hidden power and then and a, a, the hua a, a, a neutralized power basically some people say that it is actually it's come from the baji because the baji originally is like that and then the master master go go yun sen go yun sen yeah. was a baji master and, yeah. and then he returned to the xin yi so that's why make it make it a hebei baji is more powerful than I think it's not. I cannot say it's more powerful than the Shanxi, but it's the the the, the style is a little dif difference too. So that's why the Zhang Zhang is really really important for us. But the uh, the the old the old uh, the old system, the old frame we call old frame or soft frame of the of the of the body, they they are not really concentrate in Zhang Zhang, and because they they they, they like to use a lot of movement and soft movement to perform uh, their, their their skills. So that's why this is a difference. And Baji Chuan nowadays is more, uh, if 
the more popular one is more soft green because it looks better. It looks better. But the, uh, we, uh, the mostly, uh, especially like a hundred years ago uh, from, from the four, uh, fourth and fifth generation, they, we mostly teach in the army. Even uh, our grandmas, one of, my, one of, one of our grandmas, so he's a, a, a bodyguard of the poor, poor, the, the, last, the last empire of China. And my main, my real grandmaster, also a, a protector, uh, like a bodyguard, bodyguard of the poor, uh, which is my master's father. Uh, he 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 was he was a bodyguard. So that's why our our baji, our lot of baji is more like a what what we talk about is power, power direct, go forward, and by the sixth kind of opening. So that's why we call it have a liu da kai. Liu da kai is like a, a strike and a direct strike. Thing for and uh, br uh, br uh, embrace embrace it uh, is spring uh, uh, up up and down uh, power and then the qua qua power and then the twisting power qian qian xi jing uh, qian xi li qian si qian si so the twisting power to mix the whole system of the baji we use it inside just like it's something like a, 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 a tai chi is is like a kind of things uh, like a, a thing. Uh, Pang, Liu, Ji, An, something like that. But the Yin Baji, we are six kind of uh, opening. And then we use eight direction, eight direction. So that's why it's called Ba Ji, Ba Ji. Ba is a eight extreme. And then nowadays we actually uh, translate auto, uh, auto, like uh, the, the eight direction, eight poles, eight poles, auto pose, auto pose, auto pose. It's more, more, it's more precise. But actually, it's the sixth direction, uh, basically, the eight direction is not really like an eight direction. With the eight direction, it's like a uh, sixth direction, uh, front, left, right, back, four, and up, down, and two, and then inner core and oh. outer core. And a lot of people, uh, they practice body, they, they don't know about that. They think of eight directions, so that's why uh, north, north, east, and, and south, right, uh, something like that. No, no. The force you understand that uh, all from martial artists they know that it is not only that because we have up, down, and things. So basically, six direction and the inner core, the inside, the 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 uh, shrink because that's like a, a, before we explore power, we shrink and then the outer core, so the whole body. So that's we we make ourselves the Huan Yuan and Jing Jing. It's like a, a whole body, a whole body force, like a, the, the force in whole, force in whole. So, and then also we, we are really, really in a, a concentrate or important thing is like a six harmony, a liu he. Liu he is very, very important in the Baji. Without the liu he, it's nothing, nothing works. So that's why we're talking about when my feet arrive, my hand arrive same times. Basically, this is exactly the same concept of the Xin Yi Quan. So we don't fajin like uh, some some people nowadays because uh, the uh, baji jing baji baji force is so hard to to expose and uh, to use. So that's why a lot of people using the Chen Tai Chi style uh, fajin to to mix with the baji, but that is not right. This is, then then uh, the, the the power is more like a spring, more like a spring. But in baji is talk about the the force is like we we don't move, we don't move, we move is like like that. Something like that. This whole body, like so, each area. So that's why we have a lot of stamping. Our stamping is a lot of people saying that the stamping is to try to uh, try to use it for the fight to stamp a lot of pe uh, another people's uh, feet. No, actually, this is for sure. Uh, we can use it. We can apply that. But the part, uh, but the main part is like uh, when we like a uh, example. We we are like a uh, one ball, a uh, one circle, and then uh, suddenly we we want to expose the uh, every everywhere. So that's why the feet will go down because it's the gravity too. So that's why we have to land on the ground. So that's why we explode the whole body, whole body force like, like that. So that's why this is called Baji. So that's why six direction <clears throat> to to lead our, our 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 attack to one direction. And then we try to protect the direction. So that's why we have the whole body from inner core <clears throat> to expand to the outer core to make it run. So that's why it's hard to have the people to understand the real force direction. So this is how it's called Baji. Baji, so, so uh, auto, auto, auto pole is the, is the perfect, perfect idea. So that's why if, <clears throat> if we see a physics, <clears throat> we talk about auto pole is a lot of a uh, different arrow to go, go around. So uh, this is the main uh, main idea of the Baji. And also uh, Baji, 
uh, talk about a uh, uh, Liu He Da Qiang and uh, the, the six harmony a uh, uh, spear a lot. This is the extremely important for us because our uh, the, our whole system of Baji is basically based on the on on on, on the spear. So like uh, one one of uh, our our great grandmaster uh, Li Xiuwen is basically when he's like uh, after he's very successful around thirty something years old he rarely practicing the forms anymore the the the, the forms he basically only practicing the spear because. Uh, the, the 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 form of the of the kung fu is too simple for him, as he say, because he he understands the, the fourth uh, generation. So that's why he basically only practicing a spear, practicing a spear to train his internal power, is stronger, stronger to expose uh, expose to outside. So this is the the, the main idea of the baji that uh, we 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 do. So that's why I why I more I would like to more concentrate on only teaching baji. From the beginning to the end, instead of like uh, teaching some uh, Chang Chuan or, or other pe uh, other long fist kung fu uh, to start, or some people doing the tan toy tan toy to start and something like that, is because the force of the force on the structure of the of another kind of external kung fu is totally different from our our lotan lotan baji because of where our lotan baji since the beginning is very very kind of boring uh, very, very very boring but they very very uh, precise like uh, each stand and each punch and things we have to make sure our structure our structure system so uh, we for sure we do a lot of jang jang we do a lot of uh, uh, slow uh, quiet kung fu we do we also practicing the 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 uh, micro cosmos and a, a, a macro cosmos to when we are practicing, but the main part is like a, how we uh, make our structure to be appropriate uh, location to make the uh, the force like a generate appropriately. So so that's why uh, for for baji we talk about the ding baji, ding baji a lot like uh, the the head like this part. So you can see some some structures like uh, when. Like like a building, it, it's so easy to collapse. But if our top is being pulled, pulled straight, and the spine is straight and uh, solid, that uh, that the whole structure will be very solid. So that's why we talk about ding ba jing ding. Is it like a strike out a ba ba a pull? Uh, jing is force. So it's pull pulling force, pulling force, and then. Uh, some uh, in Tai Chi we call Xu Ling Ding Jing, uh, like a, like a, like a, the the thing thing force, like a, this one. But uh, sometimes uh, people too much concentrate on the neck, then it will be a problem. So that's why we use a word word thing thing ba pu. So that's why in the whole Baji Kung Fu, I I think that all of the internal style, we talk about pulling force, pulling for extension extension. So that's why we don't use muscular power. You do, we don't we we use muscular force for their power, but it's not like a, a, a shrinking one. We always non stop talking about pulling, pulling, extension, extension, extension. So that's why I think uh, the Baji, uh, this word is very amazing because uh, you you understand that every, 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 everything is like it is is in the direction to going out, going out, going out. We don't really talk about closing. If we close, we use some part to extend to close it. The back extend to close it and then to open it. That is the most important. But instead of like a string our force to go out, that is a uh, very, very uh, uh, no good. And, and and then it's unhealthy because uh, like uh, in, in uh, uh, as Chinese saying that, that when uh, people die, they shrink, they tense. Something like that, and uh, so that's why we don't. Uh, it's called jiang, jiang is like a tense, tense. But uh, we are martial artists. First of all, we have to practice our health and our strength and our energy uh, to to be uh, really, really, really strong. So that's why we pull our tendon, pull our bone, and make it longer, longer, longer. So that's why sometimes uh, when we're doing the Kung Fu, some people will see our arm is, oh, this guy, how come his arm is so long like a monkey? Because uh, we don't born like that. We practice like that. We make ourselves longer, longer, longer. So that's why you see a lot of people a day, nowadays, they, they always get injured, get hurt. It's because uh, when some parts too tense, too, uh, too tight, 
So that's why make them a, 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 a lot of problem. So that's why when we do in Baji, we have to extend, extend, extend. I think all the internal Kung Fu uh, happen to be the same thing too. We don't do string, we do extend out, extend out. Even, even you see some part of a muscle, it, it will be tense. Ten, it it's tense, it's not a string tense. But it's like a pull when, when some strings, we pull, pull, pull up to a point, it's tense. That kind of tense that, that we are we are looking for. So that's why we we can be nonstop making longer, 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 longer tense and longer life. That's the most important things. So this is a mainly the, the basic idea of the Baji. So that's why um, I can uh, why I've been have a lot of people uh, students coming in to me, and then finally they go away. Is because uh, we do a lot of jiang jiang when the beginning is kind of very bored. So that's why, and they 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 didn't expect. Oh no, I I I come to learn Baji is not trying to kill people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I want to have fun and then do some uh, the form so cool like uh, stamping the floor. Wow, so nice and fly. Uh, and we don't do flying around for sure. But they uh, we uh, they they see oh the force is so cool and things. Finally, I have to I have to stand that long and they waste so much time and things. I don't have time. So that's why they 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 quit. They quit. Unfortunately, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I was curious about that because of the rising popularity of it. I think probably a lot of people don't realize how much hard work goes into a, an art like that. It's a lifelong thing. But yeah, that was very informative. Uh, you you know, you would talk about, you know, Baji's uh, was the sort of the martial art of choice for a lot of bodyguards, especially for people like, as you said, Chinese emperor um, politicians. Uh, I think uh, Shanghai Chek's bodyguard was a Baji master. Um, so it's very combat effective, you know. Um, is uh, I know it, it must be hard on the body, uh, and I, I know Baji Twin has a lot of body hardening practices. Uh, could, you, could you explain a little bit about how you train your bodies to withstand this type of force? Yeah, sure. Yep. Uh, when the beginning, for sure, we do a lot of uh, Zhang Zhang, the standing, but uh, we do use a use a mapu itself, like a. Like a like a, a small a small a high 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 jump jump. We use the mabu. The mabu is a pretty low. Actually, it's a one head lower than our our, our body. So then, uh, and also the the arm we we extends and things. When the beginning, because uh, uh, of everybody will be tense. We were using the the muscle tense. So uh, to to keep the structure and uh, keep the form. So that's why it make them say, uh, have a very very hard time. Because it's so so easy to get tired, and but longer, longer, longer. Then you will try to uh, you will understand that the, the structure, which one we can uh, we should use, which one we shouldn't use, which muscle you should use, which muscle we shouldn't move, uh, we shouldn't use. So then it slowly slowly get improved. This is a one the, uh, one of the most important part that uh, we train our body to be very strong. And second, uh, we use a lot of the tree. <laughs> we we we, yeah. we hit tree. Uh, we, we 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 call liu zhang liu zhang is like a twisting the tree uh, twisting the jump uh, the, the 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 pole but uh, we normally we, we practice a lot of the palm and the arm and the shoulder and the, and the, and the, and, the, and the back and even as uh, we 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 will use two kind of things one is the tree the tree is about uh, about that big how can i say is about like a half a half feet Half feet, uh, half feet uh, diameter, and we will use it to train. And this is the first thing. And sometimes we use the wall, use a flat wall, and to train our rib, rib cage, and the front and the back, and things, and the, and the hip too. And this is we do a lot of uh, body hitting. And also we would practice an iron sand palm, iron sand palm, and we we also uh, practicing that. And we also uh, in hostile, in hostile is not my direct lineage, but uh, we we also uh, practice their their, their their things. The the hostile, the founder is a uh, the hostile. We don't call whole family. We call hostile. That uh, is the the is uh, the the main bodyguard of the poor, and then uh, he he uh, lift the, the the system here. Uh, this all also have uh, like a, a grabbing the the bowling something like a bowling yeah the, the grappling, and then that kind of things that we practice our wrist and then our our arm and then the force and also uh, yes it's some some practice is called uh, the hitting the board the board is very interesting we uh, that how we like a push the people up like if make, make them fly it's like a, the board is like it like this and then half of the board is under the ground and wow. then yes they, they did like a like a 
arm here. So when we hit the board, and the boards go up and go down, go up, go down. And this is the old side for sure. I, I, I cannot practice that in Canada now because uh, it's so cold here, like now when the winter, yeah, I cannot do it outdoor, but uh, I cannot put that equipment indoor. So instead of that, sometimes uh, we will use some of uh, the, the karate, the karate, the punching board, but then uh, we push, push. So this is the the, 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 the power that, that we try to learn how, how you use how we use our structure and body and to hit the others to make them fly. And this is a one kind of practice. And the most important, our body condition is like a, a two man practice. This is the most important. It's same as that, that we do it on the tree and on the wall, but uh, we do it person by person. This is the most important because uh, uh, one time the, we will practice the chen, uh, the jiao da, jiao da, uh, jiao, uh, jiao ding, uh, uh, jiao ding, uh, bao jiao, bao jiao, bao jiao, the, the brace, uh, brace elbow, brace elbow. That is for the, for the throwing, uh, throwing down, uh, throwing down others. So. And uh, one person have to stand straight and stand solidly and then uh, with the mabu, and then they will make sure that they we're, we're, we're solid enough. And another one we will try to go in, hit, and then try to uh, uh, lock out of, uh, lock the person down. And then let's see uh, if the person have a solid, uh, solid, a strong marble and a structure enough to not get knocked, knocked down. And another people who knock the person down is if he has a right structure, right uh, force to knock other people down. When the beginning is very hard because uh, the out, we, we, we go in the arm here, we will slash over the, 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 the chest and then uh, the elbow will hit on that and things. It's, it, it's kind of painful though. When uh, when the beginning is really hard and then also we, we, we have another practice called da qi ko, the hitting the, 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 the breathing air, uh, breathing point. It's basically when the beginning we hit the stomach and slowly, slowly we hit the the the, the heart, the heart part, like hitting hitting like that. And then we 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 use the the, the breathe out like <clears throat> hitting out like that. But then in by two person, we don't we don't do it like a one person. One person is a why we do it. Don't do it one person is because this is bad. This is useless. Some some uh, some other uh, martial art uh, they they will use uh, some some a uh, uh, hammer or stake or something to hit themselves to practice. But uh, we don't do it. Why? It's because uh, we have to practice everything in uh, Liu He Six Harmony. Uh, whatever we do something, our feet have to move. So that's why. Like a example, if I have an interview like that today, and if my master see that. He will, he will kind of like, eh, that's not right. Because uh, when I explaining in Kung Fu, I have to move my leg too, uh, uh, to make sure that I won't get bad habit to like, uh, oh, this movement, some, something, something like that. And then the, the leg is not moving. So that's why slowly, slowly, slowly will be, will be turned to be a bad habit. So when we are practicing our, 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 our body condition, as well, we cannot like all oh, no, of hitting, hitting, hitting something like that without the leg movement. So that's why everything. So uh, uh, when we uh, hitting each other, so so that's why we would like to do the, the two person practice for the chi the, the 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 stomach uh, conditioning is uh, when we go and we step in and hit by the same times, boom, and then two person. So that's why we, we do it like a sideway to open and one guy using his palm to hit my my stomach and 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 the and the opposite side they hit my stomach too and to see if i uh, hit you and i i can also uh, push you away and another person as well so that's why you know the the, the force direction so that's why we always talk about qua the qua force is like a opposite force the opposite force so we, we always do that and make sure that uh, we have our solid structure so that is how we practice our 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 body train, uh, body con uh, condition, and the strength, and then the 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 the, the solid structure. We make sure our st structure like like a mountain, and then when we go, we like a tank. We like a tank, at least like a, uh, as it, at least like a like a like a small car, at least like a, a small car that we can hit and uh, have some people uh, people fly. But our aim is like a tank. And then go boom, and then we we we, we can break everything, and then everything want to break on me, and then we have no problem. So this is a, the the body body condition we have to practice. So that's why 
uh, we practice uh, for sure we do a lot of meditation uh, martial martial meditation we do uh, we try to open our uh, 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 my, uh, micro and uh, uh, macro uh, cosmos That's inside yeah. <laughs> and the Zhang Zhang, uh, when when we do a, a xiao jia the small print we do that as as well and then each point each uh, per, uh, yeah, pressure point that we will go through and we will try to condense the 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 the, the, the visualization and then the structure and to open 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 that uh, each point too so that's why we kind of like a mix with the internal and external to uh, to to have it uh, to have it complete uh, but they for sure and nowadays, a lot of my students basically they are they are they are 50 40 50 years old and it's not so easy to practice to by, uh, by those uh, body condition like when I was young we do basically the, the arm the shoulder and the elbow and then the uh, chico every day like a, a two hours three hours a day until I feel really hurt but for them uh, basically probably uh, each class I would give them around 15 to 20 minutes to do that because they still have to go work they cannot like uh, not using their arm or go to work have their arm shaking so much something like that so that's why uh, modern world will be a little bit slower but uh, it's still uh, we will we'll try to keep the art alive so that's why form and and and, and the body conditioning practice together to slowly slowly even even it will take uh, the, the students a longer time but they finally where uh, if they do it like continuously and they put some hard work on it they would they will finally get the real force of the body and this is how we practice our our our, our body to to make the strength and the, the condition for for the baji 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 kung fu. Excellent. It, it sounds like if it was done properly, it would be very beneficial to your health. It, it's, yeah, exactly, exactly. But they uh, uh, have to be uh, uh, very appropriate, uh, uh, very proper, or else uh, uh, we will damage a lot of uh, ourselves too, especially the knee, <clears throat> because if we do a lot of stamping. If we don't understand how to open our quad and relax our waist and then if we just use force to stamp on the floor we will hurt our brain we will hurt our spine and then we will hurt our knee too and as, especially a lot of, so that's why you can hear that there are a lot of a uh, uh, chen tai chi a uh, master they have to change to a uh, titanium knee or something like that and it's because of uh, sometimes when they are i, I don't say that uh, they, they, they still doing like that but probably when they were young and right. they uh, we, we they see the stamping so cool wow, like that they to hit and and get injured for sure in Baji also a lot of people see oh Baji is just stamping so cool ah oh, stamp 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 and they damage their knee they didn't even know and then when they get older and they they, they will have a problem and and change change uh, they have to change their knee or something or take a lot of money to 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 uh, to fix the knee so that's why uh, the appropriate instruction is very important that uh, that to make sure sure that uh, you, we won't damage our, our body but make our bodies more stronger more healthier um you mentioned a little bit about well you talked about how the spear is so important to baji which it is to shingi also you know a lot of the movements are based on spear movements when you when you start teaching students, do you start teaching them spear from the very beginning of their practice, or is it something that they learn later on uh, as they progress? Oh, uh, actually, uh, I will normally teach Baji after they complete their their, their first form of a xiao jia, the 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 small frame first. So that's why they they by then they will have a basic idea of what is Baji and the structure of the body. Then uh, they can handle the spear because uh, we use at least a uh, nine feet to for the beginning. The appropriate one is uh, normally is ten to eleven feet, and the weight is pretty heavy because you know one one inch longer is 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 like a, they're ten times more heavier. So and then uh, also we what how we practice we don't do a lan la jia. Uh, I think uh, you you heard about the lan la yeah. lan la jia in English. I don't know. I don't remember how 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 we how we uh, how, yeah, how, how 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 the meaning of this. Yeah, yeah, it is a bit lan la jia something like that. But in Baji, we don't really practice a la jia. We do it. Also, uh, we don't do jia, but uh, we do all, uh, 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 th uh, thrusting and striking. Striking. We 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 call we call do do chang do chang do do is like a, like a, when we strike one two three non stop non stop and we don't stop. But it's basically it's a jia. But the la jia is one two straight go go straight. 
but then our 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 our, our speed is turn the turn. So that's why when we are have the turning, we have to understand the body because in in the in the body sphere, we basically only use the ways, use the ways to 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 practice. And so I heard so I saw in some uh, YouTube video, and somebody claimed that he's teaching a body spear, and he used he said that oh we have to use a quad to uh, to do the to do the spear. I said oh my god, that's horrible. We don't use quad to do a spear. Quad is a, because a, the, the, our spear is like that. The bottom part is basically just like a cannon base, the base very very firm very firm. And then we use a ways to turn all the angle and then do all the uh, circulation. Because uh, so that's why we don't do a lan la, we don't do a lan la because uh, we only do, do the circulation. We basically, we, we, we use our ways to shake the, the spear, to, to uh, shake my back hand. It, it basically, it's something like that. Like that. And then it go for it and another way, basically, it, it go like that, all by the ways. So that's why when I sit in the chair, I can I, I can do the spear because <laughs> and this is the base. We 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 turn, we go, we go, and then we use the waist to turn it. But the uh, lan la is a lot of people lan la ja ja like right. that, like that. But no, we are in body. We basically basically uh, right. from yeah. you see the the the, the whole body is sh shaking, shaking, shaking. So that's why we are using the ways to. Uh, Explore power, but uh, if for the beginner, when 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 we start, it will be super hard for for the person to separate the quad and the waist because uh, the, the, the the spine is not open, the quad is not open, and so this means their spine is not like a pulling straight, so the hip bone is not really like a completely uh, pull straight, so that's why they don't know how to have a uh, that two joint to separate. So that's why Baji Xiao Jia is the first, uh, the, the best things to let them to, to separate the, the, the hip and the quad and the waist. So then they will be have an easier time to do to do the do the do the do the uh, do the spear. But for sure, uh, so, uh, a, a lot of my students, I will let them touching the spear, they understand how to stand the the, the, the spear uh, spear spear structure first, and then also. They, I will let them do the uh, thrusting, thrusting, uh, the, the striking, the striking. Like uh, every day uh, doing a if you have 500 times, 500 strike, 500 strike, 500, and uh, to make sure that they, they, they are so tired. As yeah. soon as they feel tired, they will understand that some part of the muscle they shouldn't use in yeah. the spear. <laughs> they have to be like that. That, that. that part they have to go through. So that's why at the beginning and the the, oh, uh, the the hand will be hurt and sometimes it's broken their skin and things. For me, I, I, I'm really against the people saying that they, they use gloves. Yeah. I, I never accept it. I never accept it because you you will never have a sensitivity of the spear. And then you don't know how how really controlling the spear because the front of the hand, the front arm, uh, we are not really moving the front arm, but they, we, we use our body to basically to controlling the, 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 the head of a spear. And then basically the, the back the back hand is here, the right hand is controlling. So that's why the feeling, the sensitivity is very important. If you would, uh, because uh, you want to not getting hurt but have more practice then you're wearing gloves then you better don't practice you better don't practice because everything we have to start uh, start doing appropriately appropriately from the beginning or else we will have a bad habit and then uh, it will turn out to be like a really really disaster and then first of all not successful second of all hurt yourself third of all if you compete with somebody you kill you'll be killed because it's a yeah. weapon you know, just one strike, you you finish something like that. So that's why uh, normally I would just let them do a striking, and then if they can handle five hundred times, then uh, slowly, slowly, I, I I can let them add fifty times, fifty times, fifty times. But uh, you know, a lot of people it's so hard and not have much time to strike it five hundred times a day. So 
uh, normally I would let them do 100 or 200 times a day too, uh, for as a daily practice. So this means that their structure slowly, slowly uh, change to <clears throat> to help the the body and then the the strike uh, like a pun a punching and things stronger because they they slowly slowly understand that they shouldn't use certain like a like a this bicep. We, we we don't we don't use bicep force and we don't use the 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 the, the forearm the the, the squeeze we don't we don't squeeze squeeze the force but then we extend 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 the force so we we pull it so that's why we still tense but it's it's not a, like a, a, a squeeze tense with extend tense something like that so the spear same same and then slowly slowly that they help them to open the the, the waist and the quad uh, separately. So to 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 make make the make the make the like a bare hand practices better and then slowly so easier to adapt the real skill of the spear in the future too. So this is how I I, I train the student uh, normally striking until finish the the xiao jia uh, to, to start to really learning the 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 the, the, the uh, individual move and slowly slowly later do the form form is basically to try to remember some of the uh, movement combined together but the individual uh, practice and the two two person practice is the most important also partner partner like a uh, 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 we uh, hua, hua ganzi, the slide the pole slide the pole it's like a two people and the sensitivity is very very important without the two with two person practice, your the, the spear never be good. So this is this is uh, the system where we practice the spear. It's a lot of amazing attention to detail. Uh, something that uh, made me curious when I started uh, when I when I first learned about you from from Master Yang and was looking at your website and things like that. Found out that you were a priest in Shugendo. Um, did you? Did you encounter that religion when you, before you started Baji Chuen, or was it after you'd already started training in Baji Chuen? I know they're not related, but but yeah. it, it it occurred to me that your your attention to detail and the very like rigorous, precise training in Baji Chuen was probably very important to you as your training as a priest. Is that would that be fair to say? That's right. That's right. Actually, uh, <clears throat> myself, I born as a Christian uh, Roman Catholic. Oh, Roman yeah. Catholic. Me too. I have no choice because as soon as I, I <laughs> born, my parents bring me a bath, a bath up and yeah. then and, uh, to, to be room. So that's why my name is Stephen. Okay. <laughs> it's not like a, some Chinese name, like a, like a Master Yang. He's still using Yang Hai. It's pretty nice. <laughs> I think it's very good. But uh, but uh, myself is uh, using it. My parents choose my name as a, as a same name. It's called same name is Stephen. Stephen, something like that. And then... Uh, when I was a uh, young, uh, and then when I was uh, 11, 12 years old, well, for sure, I, I went to church a lot too when I was young. And and I go with my parents uh, every Sunday to the church. And then up to when I was uh, doing my, my Shaolin Kung Fu. My Shaolin Kung Fu is very interesting. My grandmaster, uh, he's, a, he's a really, really good, martial, very, very strong martial artist. He also all, always go back to uh, Zhuhai uh, in China. And to teach her army, he's a army army instructor, army instructor in a, a by, by, by back then. It's really really strong. And then he also is a Buddhist. How can I say? Uh, it's not magician. It's like a like a like a magical a magical a magical Buddhism. He's he's practicing magical Buddhism. And then so now uh, by by that uh, he's he write a lot of it. The, the talisman is yeah. something like a talisman and things. And then uh, he he use a uh, use a lot of magic and something like that to make people do this and something something like that to make his power stronger something like that. <clears throat> and by then, I start to uh, learn about those things. And then I I find oh is very interesting so that's why to gain my interest of that uh, 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 buddhism and also i'm you know i'm from hong kong and uh, i i uh, since i was young even i'm a, a, a roman catholic i'm catholic but uh, i i touch uh, i get the uh, close touching with the uh, Taoism. Taoism. Taoism is one of uh, the most important uh, uh, religion uh, in Hong Kong and they always have a uh, Taoism and Buddhism mixed together right it's crossed together so right. that's why it, it, it made me more interest and then when I was young and my, my my one of my one of my bookshelf is always talk about those Chinese God and then uh, in Chinese uh, uh, Taoist and the Buddhist uh, magical practice that's make me start to uh, interested about that and then until almost I, I'm uh, 
I really started to learn in Baji. I'm le- around 20, 21 years old. <clears throat> and then by that time, I was thinking, oh, Baji is so good and, and practice, practice. But by that time, I, I feel like, okay, so yeah, I understand. Yeah, martial practice is very, very strong and to make me to be a, one of the strong guys in the world. But I feel I'm missing something. I'm missing something. I seems like it, what I'm practicing is all is, is in my in my external body, like a, in my body. <clears throat> but my spirit seems like a kind of empty. Mm-hmm. And then and I know that it is something that can make my spiritual power will be stronger and things. And then uh, for sure, it's very, very, I, I realized very, very dangerous to practice uh, some, uh, to find a, 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 a whatever things to practice, to practice my spiritual practice. So that's why I, I've been carefully select and choose uh, of, of the different school and things. And then I, when, when the path that I'm choosing, looking for, for those uh, different, uh, different religious, different practice and things, I realize that yes, a lot of it dangerous and then not authentic uh, spiritual practice out there that uh, to uh, will will to mainly for 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 the for the financial uh, benefit and also uh, for uh, that will actually make the people uh, make the practitioner have some uh, uh, negative effect. So so that's why I I slowly choose 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 and finally I see a a the a, a, a esoteric Buddhism. Esoteric Buddhism is like a, they have very complete theory for of the Buddhism, <clears throat> and also here's a, a those a we call magical a magical power magical practice that I'm really interested in. So that's why I would I by that time I was starting to looking around and then and try 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 to looking for a master and things. And I I want the beginning I want to find a, a a Chinese esoteric Buddhism. And and then finally, I do a lot of research and things. Finally, I realized that I confirmed that it has been destructed, and then it's 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 gone. It's like it's been whipped out since uh, since the uh, uh, Song Dynasty. Since Song Dynasty, it's completely gone. And uh, and then uh, in the China, only have a have left uh, until now is a Tibetan Buddhism. Tibetan Buddhism is also esoteric Buddhism, but they say it's not the one that I'm looking for uh, because uh, that one is a little bit different, different mindset too. Uh, so that's why I have to go to uh, to look for uh, uh, in Japan and things. So that's why I, I find my first uh, uh, Shingon master. He, he, and that day he come to United States to Vermont every year, and I start to learn from him, <clears throat> and then. Uh, Slowly, sorry, but uh, the way he teaches is not so appropriate, and he he was missing a lot of things and missing a lot of uh, appropriate initiation also, and he he didn't teach uh, us a wrong thing, but uh, uh, some uh, some uh, important initiation that uh, he 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 has skipped, he, he skipped it. So so uh, because of some uh, religious politics or something like that, uh, so to make him uh, have a lot uh, some some difficult time to do that. <clears throat> so finally. Until uh, now, it's 12, 13 years ago. I, I I went to I went to Japan to meet my Shugendo master, uh, Shugendo master in uh, Yamakata, uh, uh, Koshi uh, Koshi Kitake Koshi Kitake Show uh, uh, Show uh, uh, master, my master, my master name, and then I I, I start to concentrate in Shugendo practice because uh, I've been looking for Shugendo practice since when I was looking for esoteric Buddhism too. But uh, I know that Shugendo practice is more like a pure Japanese uh, religious. Like that is a very, very perfect blending, uh, mainly from the uh, esoteric uh, uh, Mikyu Buddhism, mixed with the Shinto and the Taoism. Basically, the, the, the Shinto that uh, we're talking about is not the modern Shinto that uh, you go see the, the, the in Japan now, those uh, some, some uh, some lady wear the white top and the red the bottom and you have to have the rain that's just dancing around, shaking around. No, uh, the, the Shinto that we have is more like an old time uh, Taoist. Yeah. And the old time, because uh, if you understand that the, the, the Taoism, the, the magical, especially magical Taoism uh, in China, that, that they are having now, they're using now is actually from the Ming Dynasty. The pre-Ming, uh, pre-Ming Dynasty system, basically they have 
it has been gone or have been has has been a stock and they take comfort to a, a little bit system to say to fit the society so that's why we we call Ming dynasty a uh, Taoism uh, but the 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 one that the issue can do in, in uh, practice is they are more like a a Tang Dynasty or pre Ming Dynasty uh, system. So that's why when we do it, those uh, talisman, uh, those fu fu, and the, the way we we drawing is more like a like a like a like a electric electric board, like a computer board, something like you know those 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 are weird uh, computer line or like an alien line, something like that. Instead of writing the the the, the Chinese character uh, in there. This is like a more more pre uh, pre pre Ming Dynasty uh, uh, Taoist practice, so that's why the Shinto by that time basically is a pre Ming Dynasty practice, and they they uh, all especially in Shugendo they will mix with the, the Buddhism in together, and to to have this system to be uh, to be uh, to be taught, but uh, normally <clears throat> in Shugendo they are really <clears throat> close minded, very close minded in Japan. <clears throat> it's really where to have foreigner be able to to learn Shugendo, especially when we are not speaking really good Japanese. We speak Japanese, but really, uh, really a uh, little. Uh, so then, uh, <clears throat> then uh, they 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 will have a hard time to teach us until one day my master come out in Facebook saying that oh uh, we can accept a foreigner, and then we I would like to. Uh, uh, expand this uh, this religious and art uh, to the world. So that's why I went to see him, and I never see him before. And then I just talked to him a little bit in Facebook, and then I go fly to Japan to go see him. And then I've been uh, his disciple until now. And then it's very interesting that uh, Shugendo, this this uh, this religious, basically <clears throat> what whatever Shugendo we see now is we we call modern Shugendo. Uh, it's because of when Ming Dynasty, uh, no, no, sorry, it's a Meiji, Meiji, Meiji period when mm. the Meiji, Meiji, uh, Meiji Empire come. He claimed that oh, you know, from now on, Shinto is a is a is a is a uh, like a uh, state religion, yeah, state religion, state religion is like a, a country religion now. So, uh, very unfortunate that Shugendo is use Shinto. And uh, uh, Mikyu Buddhism, uh, like uh, esoteric Buddhism, mixed together. So that's why, huh, you're a bad boy. So I don't cool. like it. Shinto is this, like a high level, and right. then you mix those together, no good. So they 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 tear it apart, tear it apart, and then it's to stop all the Shugendo temple to close down. They close down all of the uh, Shugendo temple, and then ask all of the people, you either turn to be a, a citizen. I will give you a a, a a place to do your business, do your business uh, as a businessman, or to come to uh, come to the government and to start to start to work for the government. And and a lot of people saying, oh shit, uh, okay, uh, no, uh, that that's no good. <laughs> that's no good. Okay, so uh, they they retire. They they basically they 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 completed, and they they the government even you uh, take. He has a couple of main mountain that is a lot of uh, ritual books in there and things. The government take it and burn it away. Yeah. It's totally disappeared. <clears throat> and my master, he's in a Yamakata, a northeastern of the Japan. And then his family lineage has been a, a transferred since the seventh century until now. And then a, his family try to escape and try to hide all of the all of the all of the textbook and things hide it and don't let the 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 magic uh, magic government find it so finally it, they hide they hide so that's why when the beginning they only they transfer like they transmit the, the the teaching from the father son father son father son father son father son and until until my master First of all my master wanted his time because the government won't won't bother that that that, that that thing anymore and then uh, he can also even register in the government they're saying that called sino uh, uh, sino uh, sino religious so like uh, that is not a pure buddhist uh, pure esoteric buddhism is for sure it's not shinto but they, they yes they all, all cross over it makes but they mainly you say like a 
um, uh, nature uh, nature practice, nature Buddhism practice. Like you know, we we go in the mountain practice a lot though, and then uh, so and then by that time, since he can register, so this means they they are official uh, uh, legal uh, religious. So that's why he uh, he said that oh, and then uh, we we should let the world know this about a uh, good religious and good art too because uh, uh sugar and dough you know uh, we don't uh, we don't use a cure a cure like a religion but we use dough dough you know like a judo karate right. yeah. kendo or something like that so this means that the life that we have to understand the the uh, i i always saying that it's like a, a, a way of life yeah. way of life it is sugar and dough and sugar and dough these two words is very very interesting interesting show is practice we put effort to practice again it's like effect the result like a, a, we practice we supposed to see the result right away and this is the path of our life so this minute whatever we have to do and we have to go through ourselves we have to feel that we have to understand that we have to practice that and then uh, we uh, we see the result that is a real life and actually, this is a Shugendo, this name, I think it's very useful for, for the modern world too. It's because like a, a nowadays, a lot of people, they said that oh, they learn Kung Fu, they learn a, some ritual, and they learn that, and they think they're master. <laughs> but that's not right. You learn that, you take a lot of effort and time to practice until you see your body and your mind have changed to be a tour to the right direction. Then you you uh, then you are doing the right way. So this is the path that you're supposed to do. So this is a way of life. So that's why Shugendo is a, a I, I think it's very very amazing uh, art, amazing art for sure. It's religious, and we we have a lot of uh, uh, Buddhist uh, Buddhist deities, and also some uh, some special deity from a uh, from a Shugen from a Shugendo is uh, some uh, Tengu Tengu. You know the long yeah, long yeah, the wings and yeah yeah. Exactly. They, we sometimes say, some people say that a uh, 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 warrior, of, warrior of wing, warrior of wing, something like that. And then yes, a couple of uh, system of the martial art in Japan as well is uh, claim that their founder is a one of the Tengu, one of the Tengu too. It, it's pretty cool. And so this is the religious of Shugen though that uh, how how I approach it too. It's very interesting. And I, I, what little, I don't know very much about it, but what little I do know about it is in the context of Japanese martial arts, the connection that's there between like um, Yamabushi, like mountain uh, monks that, that, that train in martial arts and the Tengu and things like that. I know it's in a lot of, uh, a lot of the older Japanese martial arts systems like Aiki Jiu Jitsu and things like that. They talk about yeah. that. Sort of thing. It's very interesting. So it's like, in a way, uh, you're uh your martial arts practice complements your shugendo and sh your shugendo i imagine complements your martial arts practice even though they're different they're still you're, you're trying to work on the same same sort of thing to work That's on right. yeah but uh, one thing I, I would like to add that <clears throat> i just want to make sure that uh, a shugendo actually is a way of life but it says we we, we should uh, separate with the with the martial art as well right. uh, just like uh, some people say oh you you thou as a practitioner so this means that you you you, you know martial art no, yeah. they, you have, you have to separate that. But they, for sure, they, they are re related. But the one wrong thing you say some some I I don't know if you understand if you if you heard about some ninjitsu ninjitsu yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. They always claim that a shugendo is a part of them and think that is totally wrong totally wrong and then uh, they, this is a affecting a lot of people in the world but the ninjitsu is a one kind of a interesting I thought interesting martial art. That yeah. is come from nowhere, and then uh, uh, Yamabushi is a uh, shugendo. Yamabushi, the uh, name of my Yamabushi means uh, the person high in mountain. Right. Uh, Yama is mountain. Uh, bushi is we hidden there. Yamabushi is hidden there. So that's uh, in the old time. Some ninja, uh, the the people who who work at I say work is like their career. They right. work as a ninja. Uh, they always live in the mountain. So that's why. Uh, the the mountain training of the Shugendo religions really fit them, so that's why they practice that. Mm -hmm. But doesn't mean that ninja have to be a Shugendo. Ninja can be can be a Christian too, right. <laughs> definitely. Right. 
Ninja can be Jewish, it can be can, can be Muslim. Doesn't mean that Shugendo is a is a is a is a ninja. So that's why that's what I want the world to know, understand that ninja is not Shugendo, Shugendo is not ninja. We are no related. And the modern ninjitsu is like a come from somewhere. I don't know where where it's from. It's very interesting though. Yeah, yeah. Interesting is a good word for it. Yeah. So we're just about out of time. It's been a great talk. Um oh. One question that I wanted to ask you is that uh, we, we talked a little bit about how there's a resurgence in Baji Chuen and, and some other martial arts too. What do you see as the future for Baji Chuen going forward? Where do you think it's going? The Baji Chuen actually uh, now actually is, as as you mentioned before, it's getting more more popular and things, and a lot of people want to learn that. And then nowadays, I'm uh, setting up a for for sure now I I I have my Patreon page that they have a have they have the people to join in to see some of the basic practice of the body trend. But they slowly slowly they, I I would think that that the people will gain more interest to when they see more original body that from uh, learn it from original from the body slowly slowly step by step clear by clear and then slowly slowly I I think that the in the this year, 2024, I will put more effort to spread it in the United States. I will try to, hopefully, I, I will have chance to open a couple more seminar to do, to start to spread the budget from the basic to uh, uh, to the to the first step of the budget, and the people will start to understand and even go to Europe too. And then also, uh, I will start uh, Instead of only teaching the form and things, I will start to teach like with the when it's the form and the body structure and the force uh, generation and how how we build the structure and uh, to be used for the body and then uh, application by the same time. So each move, each application, each move, each application. So that's why then we will go back to like a probably 100 years ago when we did, when when our massive master grandmaster they practice baji for basically for usage it's not for 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 beauty so yeah, wow. this is the the the, the future that the, the baji churn uh, is going to be and then to hopefully to help that for the people always complaining or, or like a big joke of a traditional uh, Chinese Kung Fu saying, oh, they cannot fight this and that and things. And then hopefully we will have a, a gather some, some even also younger, younger practitioner to, to get interest to do that, this kind of a traditional martial art and slowly, slowly, and then slowly, slowly, hopefully that it can influence also in the Xin Yi Quan and the Xin Yi Liu He, Ba Gua, Tai Chi, and we, we, we can all do the same thing. And then we can all harmonize together to be a one family that, that I think that will be very, very beautiful though. I agree. I think, I think that's what we're all hoping, hoping for. So right. uh, Stephen, it's been great talking to you and we will put all the uh, all your links in the description so that people can find you.